Numbers 14, 39 through 41. When Moses related his, this message to the entire nation of Israel, the people mourned deep. Sometimes hearing God's word isn't easy. Sometimes, because we know what he did wrong, it's hard to take in. The fact is, when it's hard, we should realize we've done wrong. Accept what he says and change. That doesn't mean his word's going to be undone. But if we have changed, it means we will be closer to him. And be able to come overcome. Early the next morning, they got up and started to ascend the mountain. Here we are, they said. We realize that we have sinned, but we are now ready to proceed to the place which the Lord has promised. Okay. They were ready to move on. They were ready to take it. They may, they may not have really learned their lesson of how serious it was. Because they would have listened to the word which said you will not take this land. It was already done. There was no changing that. That was their fate. Not to take the land. Moses insisted, why are you trampling under the hood of the Lord's direct order? If I get you nowhere, it will get you nowhere. Sometimes we don't want to do what the Lord has. But we always need to try to follow it. Sometimes His will and our will won't be the same. But His will is what we should follow because our will does not lead. If it was our will, our will leads to destruction. His will leads to the cross. And these people want to do their thing. Sometimes we can rationalize what we think is good. And think, well, he said we could do this, so let's go ahead and not wait on the Lord. Too many times we try to get ahead, do our own thing, and not even consider what the Lord's doing. And then people of Israel should have considered the word of the Lord. And not consider what they wanted. What we should want should come second to what the Lord wants of us. Because what He wants of us is far greater than what we could want of ourselves.